Hi guys, how are you? This is my first get ready with me makeup tutorial and both the kids are sleeping. My son Cristiano is uh, like 20 months old. He'll be two in July and then my daughter Nancy Ruth is going to be five months old soon and um, so 202 when they're napping is when you gotta take advantage of everything anyways so today I'm gonna do a quick stay-at-home mom or mom on the go um, makeup tutorial for when your kids are both coincidentally sleeping at the same time I don't do makeup every day um, just because I, I really don't have the time and I really, if I'm not leaving the house or going anywhere special, I just don't see, you know, that big of a reason for it unless, you know, you want to surprise your man and look super nice and have your makeup done and, you know, that's always fun. But I don't know. I, I just personally don't really care to impress anyone outside of my house. Um... But I know a lot of people like to wear makeup, it makes them feel good. It makes me feel great when I wear it. Uh, so anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so first I start with Cosmetic Lad, which I got from Lush. Um, and so I don't really have that much left, but I use this to just kind of get some moisture on my skin. I tend to have pretty dry skin. Um, my grandmother had, still has psoriasis, um, and I think that I, I don't know that I have psoriasis, but I definitely have dry skin, which runs in my family. I'm just gonna rub this in, make sure I get around my eyebrows. Um, I don't know if some of you guys, it's kind of embarrassing. I have like a eyebrow dandruff sometimes um, so I just want to make sure that I get it nice and moist and rubbed in and then <laughs> I hate right after I put it on because my face gets so red and you can see like every mark that I have okay so once you have that on then you're going to take uh, your concealer or foundation or whatever it is you use. I got this a while back. Um, my cousins and I went to this Airbond thing. And they do like makeup and I don't know. They have different stuff like essential oils and stuff like that. Anyway, so I got this CC cream from Airbond. And I think it was pretty affordable. I think it was like $30 or something for this size. And like I said, I don't put makeup on every day, so it tends to last me a while. So I always put it on with my fingers. I bought some brushes from them as well. Here, I'll show you. Here's the brushes that I got from them. Actually, this whole kind of set is from them. And that's their logo. Um, but I don't, I feel like my hands are quicker and it does just as good of a job, so why not? Um... Okay, so I just take a little bit and I put it on my fingertip. All right, that, that's really all you need. You don't need a lot. Um, and if you need more, you can always dab a little bit more. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. And you always want to make sure that you get the nose because of the creases that are there. Okay. I'm just going to rub it in. And you always want to make sure that you go out to like the side of your face so that there's nothing um, that you miss. Or like so you can blend it I guess is a better way of putting it. You don't want to have like the orange line that I used to have all the time when I was in um, like 
middle school, I think eighth grade, I first started putting on my makeup and oh my god, I don't know why my mother let me leave the house like that, but I looked like such a clown. It was ridiculous. I even had a guy in my class call me a clown because I had put my blush on and it was just like two red circles. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I had like the orange line from not blending in my foundation to my skin and also I think that I just wanted to be a little bit tanner so I bought like an extra shade darker than what I was and uh, I don't know this one I have is um, well I don't see where it says it on oh light clear anyway so this one is a good shade for me um, okay Then what I do after I put on that is I take a piece of like toilet paper or paper towel or just kind of any paper that you have laying around and I just kind of wipe it a little bit because I like more of a natural look and um, I just don't want my makeup to look like it's caked on. I'm not like an Instagram model or anything. I'm just just the mom. So, as long as I look presentable, it's fine. Alright, so then I put on my blush. And this is, let's see, a bronze matte press powder bronzer. And I don't even know who makes this. I don't know, maybe you guys know who makes, oh, Studio gear or something like that. I don't know. I bought this a long time ago. So that's that. And then I do use one of my airborne brushes for this. I use the um, angled brush. So this is what this looks like. Okay. So then I'm just going to take this and then I blow on it and just stroke upwards. Okay. And I don't put a lot on. Um, just a little. And so then I'm just going to rub that with my hands just to kind of blend it in. I don't buy um, those little makeup blenders uh, just because I don't I don't think I wear enough makeup to do that I just use like a piece of tissue paper like I said um, and I really don't cake it on or anything so uh, you know I'm not trying to catfish anybody I'm already married I don't need to catfish anyone or to take any crazy pictures of myself to make myself look better or whatever I'm happy with the way that I look okay so now I'm going to do some eyeshadow I want to do that color let's see uh, I typically go with like a kind of orangey tone um, like this is all May for hazel eyes I have hazel eyes and right now they actually look pretty brown but sometimes they have like green or yellow streaks in them um, from the sun depending on how bright it is outside today's kind of a gloomy day so I don't think my eye color is gonna be anything crazy alright so you can either use like the little pad that it comes with which sometimes I do that or sometimes I'll use one of the brushes that um, I have from Airbon that I showed you so I'll use like medium to small size brush like this and then I'll take the orange color and then I'll just go ahead and blow on it so it doesn't like fall all over my foundation and then it's hard to do this into the camera do 
do the other eye. I actually just got my eyebrows done. I haven't had them done in like forever and I got a haircut. I hadn't had my haircut since October of 2016. Right after, three months after my son was born. And I had it cut really short to kind of like prevent him from pulling on it. Um, and it got really long, but it was really just in terrible shape. So um, I just got it cut again recently, like two weeks ago. Okay, so after I get like enough color on there, I'm going to take the same brush. <laughs> I just kind of, you know, do this on the edge of the uh, the case for the eyeshadow to kind of knock off the other color. And then I come up here and get the, let's see, the kind of nude color. Same thing. And then I just come right above it and just get in this area. I don't use the... Um, the crease one that they put in there like they have the suggested like blue crease right here color but I don't use that I'm not like I said I don't want anything crazy on my face I just want to look fairly natural okay And you can get any of this stuff, like, well, you can get this at any CVS or Ulta, of course, is going to have it. Um, the Airbond stuff, I don't believe that they sell it in stores anywhere, so you just have to go online and order it from Airbond uh, if you're interested in that. I probably will reorder it again whenever this runs out because it does work really well for me. And it's hard for me to find a foundation that won't make me like break out so I use that um, and almost every other foundation I've had has made me like seriously break out afterwards and I hate the feeling of like a pimple coming up or anything like I just hate that so now I'm gonna take a bigger brush and I'm gonna use that to kind of blend and I'm gonna knock off any powder that might be on there from last week or you know whenever the last time I did my makeup was and then I'm just gonna kind of blend the crease in on both sides and try to make it look pretty seamless okay all right that's good enough for me and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get my eyebrows looking fire um, pretty spectabulous. So I use this, um, Gimme Brow. And, um, I actually had my sister go with me to Ulta to pick something out. And they told me that the lighter brown would go better or like a medium brown. It's a number one. So that's the number for what shade of brown this is. And it seems to work pretty well. I, I like it. Sometimes I get like a big glob on there and it takes a while to blend it in. But you just stroke your eyebrow like so. And it just makes it like fuller. See, now this one looks much fuller than this one. It's always hard to do the other side. Just trying to smooth it out now. Okay. Eyebrows are done. Alright, my lips are extremely chapped, so ignore that, please. Oh, well, don't ignore it because I'm going to try to fix it. Um, okay, so now that my eyebrows are done, what I'm going to do 
is take my favorite eyeliner ever and use this and I believe it's also yes it's made by Almay intense one color eyeliner and I believe this was originally I think I got it under like the hazel eye because they have like your eye color like say if you have green eyes they have like an eyeshadow palette that goes with that color eye and so the same thing like I have hazel eyes so the eyeshadow that I used was for people with hazel eyes and I believe that this um, Alme eyeliner is also for hazel eyes um, but it's just a black eyeliner and it's retractable so let's see and I because my eyes don't have like um, there's not a lot of space up here like when my eyes are fully open I don't like to do a big line and I also don't like to do black all the way on the bottom I like my eyes to look more open I'll just do a tad like the corner here and that's all um, and then the corner on this side okay and then I do like a little Cat eye here. Yeah, girl. When you're living on a budget, you learn to do your makeup without any fancy makeup tools. Um, okay, so that is my eyes, except I have one more step. Um, for our eyes, which is my mascara, and I always do this last because uh, I have a tendency to smear it or mess it up, so I always do that last. I always do foundation first, and some people do, um, some people do their like eyes first, and then they do their foundation so that their eyeshadow doesn't get on their foundation and mess it up. But because I don't use a lot of foundation, I just go ahead and do that first. And if I get anything on it, it's pretty easy to just get it off. Um, okay, so this is what I use for my eyelashes, which is Great Lash. And this stuff is like six bucks at Target or something like that. It might even be cheaper. Um, I had my makeup done for my best friend's wedding. And the girl that does professional makeup she was doing my makeup and everything and I saw I looked down and I saw that she actually had this I was like oh my god I have the same one I'm glad I you know I picked a good one because I personally don't know a ton about makeup so I was just happy that I picked something that a professional uses okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to make sure I get the excess off on you know on that part um and I'm just going to do this And then I do the bottoms. I think it's funny that uh, I never really pay attention, but I always make funny faces when I put on makeup. Because when you're concentrated, you don't really pay attention to the faces you make. Uh, a lot of times I'm like, or when I put on my makeup, it's funny. Okay. And I just want to like kind of push it up when I when I put it on, like push up, so it kind of gives me more of a curve to my eyelash. And then I even like I don't have a you know a clip or whatever that that makes your eyelash curve. And I don't use fake lashes because it's just that's just too much, it's too much. So. What I'll do is I'll take my finger and I'll just like blink down on my finger.
which takes some of the excess off and kind of helps shape it. Okay, so then, you know, I have dirty fingers. <laughs> so I wipe them off on whatever's around, um, like a dish towel or like sweatpants, but I have sweatpants on. Um, lastly, I've got to take care of these guys. So, uh, I don't like to use any crazy colors. I think that there's some girls out there that can pull it off and I'm all for that. It looks great on everybody else, but I look much better with, okay. The craziest color that I'll go is like a red, like this guy. I have a red, um, and then I have this guy, which I like for gloss. Um, but today I think I'm just going to use like a dark lipstick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like this shade. So this is P color 41 tiramisu by, I don't even, Estee Lauder, okay, so this is by Estee Lauder, alright, so, okay, that looks pretty good um and then you know if I have any like if I want to take the color off just a tad bit so that you know it's not getting on everything I'll take a paper towel or something and I'll just blot like that and then I'll go and put my lip gloss on so that my lipstick isn't getting on my lip gloss thing uh let me dry it off a little bit so I'm going to use this lip gloss actually um it's 24 color super stay and this thing is so old I can't even tell you what the brand is um Maybelline that's what it says it's Maybelline okay I'm just gonna use a little bit I think that looks pretty good. Um, I don't do any contouring or anything that takes extended periods of time. Like I said, this is a simple makeup tutorial for, or not even really a tutorial. I'm not professional, so I shouldn't really be telling people how to do their makeup. But um, just like a showing you what I do personally, what I like. I like to keep it simple, um, and then you know look a little bit more decent throughout the day um, so now I'm going to do my hair and finish this get ready with me so I'll be right back okay so I took my little headband off which I just kind of used to um oh my gosh to prevent my hair from getting in the way of me doing my makeup so because I'm recently like had a baby, my hair is super like thin here. It's really I have really thick hair, but it's like thinning out like right here. Um, and that is supposedly very common after you have a baby. I didn't have that with my first kid. It just with my daughter, um, I got it, which I don't know. I don't like it because I always like lose a crap ton of hair every time I brush it. It was worse before I got my hair cut, but now it's um it's not that bad. So I really don't like to straighten my hair super often because um I like to keep it thick. Um and sometimes when I straighten it it just 
last like a day before my hair gets super oily but I just got some um, some dry shampoo and maybe that'll help with with that issue so sometimes what I do instead of like just letting it hang out and be all crazy um, is I'll take like half and do half up so I'll just kind of use my thumbs to run back a section of hair and then I like kind of pat down to make sure there's not any like really noticeable lumps uh, showing through. And I don't use a brush to do that because it seems to make that worse if, if I do. And then I'll take my hair band and I'll just band it together. And then after it's banded, I will loosen it up a little bit, like pull the band back down a little bit so that it loosens the hair that's bound. And then there we go. <sighs> so my hair is done for the day. Um, my makeup is done for the day. And that took all of what, like 20 minutes? So. Okay, seems pretty doable to me. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Um, si tienes alguna pregunta, déjalo en los comentarios abajo. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, like I said, thank you for watching my video. Que tengan un buen día. Y nos vemos la próxima vez. Bueno, chao.